Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge, and it is on this day, Monday, May the 2nd, 2016, that Mighty Number no. 9 finally has a release date, that is, I'm quoting here, set in stone. And while I was wrong and thought it would be out later this month, it's slated for June 21st for America and June 24th worldwide. All I'm gonna say is that game better be immaculate, or everyone's gonna flip their lid more so than they already have. Moving on to The Division, Ubisoft has issued a wave of bans bigger than anything seen before. They've also increased their first-time offender suspension period from three days to 14. Yikes! Second-time offenders are banned permanently. Ubisoft also says they have plans to reinvigorate the PvE area in The Division. I've got some new details about Uncharted 4's multiplayer. The DLC will be free, including all maps and modes. It seems very similar to how Rockstar is doing things with GTA Online. Nintendo is giving away legendary Pokemon during the month of May. See the description down below for a link to information about what Pokemon you get, on which dates, as well as links for sources for all of today's stories. I'm not done with Pokemon news because a Pikachu themed controller for Pokemon Tournament is coming soon. In more Nintendo news, President Tatsumi Kimishima says the new NX console will not be sold at a loss, as many consoles are when they first release, because it will have strong launch titles. I have no idea what's going on with this next one, but the trademark Judas has been filed by Rockstar. Religious game? Coincidence? I guess we'll have to wait till E3 to find out. Super Meat Boy has a release date for Nintendo Wii U eShop. You can pick it up on May 12th. Quantum Break for PC has had an update addressing the crashing issue. A link to the patch notes can be found down below as well. And finally for teasers, EA is letting everyone play Star Wars Battlefront for four hours if you download it on Thursday in celebration of Star Wars Day, May the 4th. Oculus Rift is hitting store shelves before pre-orders are done being filled, and we're going to talk about that more today on News Cartridge. Today's top story is something players should never have to deal with. From Software and Bandai Namco have been banning players from Dark Souls 3 for cheating, but the problem is, it doesn't matter if you're not the one who hacked the game. It begins with a message that your game has invalid data. You then have a chance to remove your save data in order to avoid having your account be further investigated. If you didn't cheat, then how did the game register your data as invalid? Hackers have been artificially raising these stats of items and then handing them over to unsuspecting players. Some players have even reported to have their account come into question for simply playing against someone who has been hacking, something every player has no choice over. Bandai Namco suggests to stay away from the hackers and to not accept items from strangers, something that seems like a band-aid on a broken leg. Let me know in the comment section if you've become a victim to this and I'll see what I can do about getting your account restored. I'm a fan of shooters, however, I'm not really a fan of Call of Duty. The games seem to play more or less all the same to me, however, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare has my interest. I was watching this trailer and thought to myself, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good looking game, it looks like your typical Call of Duty, that now there are robots and bigger flying ships. And then this happened. They go... into space. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare will have space battles both inside a vehicle and outside your ship. I never thought I'd say it, but I'm actually really excited for a Call of Duty game. Find a link to the full trailer down below. In the quick spot today, I've got an update on Stardew Valley. Version 1.1 is currently being worked on, which will include the much sought after multiplayer functionality. You will finally be able to play with your friends. There will be more late game content added, new farm buildings, new crops, new artisan goods. I can't wait, and the developer says that Chucklefish, the publisher, will handle most of the work to get the multiplayer up and running so he can focus on creating new content. For more on Stardew Valley, stay tuned to News Cartridge and let me know what your favorite thing to do in Stardew Valley is. Mine is filling up the community center, even though I haven't finished it yet. To end today, the Oculus Rift launched back in March, and already it's seen more controversy than its counterpart, the HTC Vive. To add to that, it's now being reported that Best Buy will be getting a stock starting on May 7th. This all seems well and good, but mind you, this means that I, somebody who hasn't pre-ordered it, can walk into a store and walk out with a Rift before others who have pre-ordered it get theirs. 
Pre-ordering hardware is actually something I approve of because unlike a digital product, the economics of supply and demand actually apply and supplies can run short, which is indeed what has happened to the Oculus Rift. So pre-ordering is kind of like holding your place in line, or at least it should be. Oculus's response to this was to say to go ahead and cancel your pre-order and you will still keep all of your pre-order bonuses. I think this is an awful way of dealing with this matter. They complained about a component shortage and yet they have stock for retail? All of the pre-orders should go out before they even consider putting it on store shelves. Period. End of discussion. And now, tomorrow's game releases for PC, Color Chaos, Secrets of Deep Earth Shrine, Battleborn, Fragments of Him, Liveza, Death of the Earth, and Share. For PlayStation 4, Battleborn, Shadow Complex Remastered, The King of Fighters 2000, Never Ending Nightmares, Push Me, Pull You, Tabletop Racing World Tour, and Coffin Dodgers. For Xbox One, Battleborn and Super Hot. For PlayStation Vita, Ray Gigant. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I'll see you tomorrow. And what does a proud computer call his little son? A microchip off the old block.